Uh, Shalom and Salakia. I had to do a part two. This Satan is trying to hit the end of the video. Uh, fucking with me. All right. Fucking up uh, the screen recording program. But anywho, hey man, the, the spirit has it so it's being brought out, man. But anywho, uh, back to Vocab Malone, his his conjecture. And it basically makes this 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 wife of Solomon a cryptic prophecy about the Black Madonna, which would be uh, inaccessible to the average reader. But they saw this black and beautiful reference as uh, literal, basically. And so. And it is literal. It is literal. I mean, shit, I can go to it. It's been, you know, people have went to it many times before. But it is literal, right? That's why it came out. In, he, just, he just said it came out in Sicily. It came out in Spain and Portugal, all right? The place where the Sephardic Jews were, so-called dark-skinned people as well, all right? before they were re, renamed and, and, and Esau became us. Yep, I am black, but comely. All right, you go to the word, black. Why would he? Why would he say that? Jetty, dusky. In this sense, it's, it's Shakar, Jetty, dusky. I believe I believe uh, a uh, synonym is swarthy, meaning dark skin. To be black of skin. To be black, right? <laughs> Through the idea of the duskiness of early dawn, right? Because it's still, it's still kind of darker, you know, during the dawn, early dawn. So we just looked that up. So he's saying it's an, it's an allegorical, it's literal. He's literally dark skin. Right? I said Kadar. That was that's talking about another instance of. Uh, the word dark skin, so like it for the mix up. All right, but they're both talking about basically he's dark skin. Because Solomon, t today he'd be so called black, basically. And, and this is what scares them so much, man. Let's get uh, get to a couple of more and close it out. It says, Yes, yeah, 2 Corinthians 11 to 14, and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. And when you look at what this man did, they created themselves as the spiritual leaders, all right? They became the face of good to this day. You know, they're the, they're the superheroes. They're the, the people of good, you know? They're the good, well, that's why one of the reasons they named themselves white, all right? Because white is being associated with pure. <laughs> Even in the scriptures, when it talks about, I believe that's in uh, Song of Solomon 5 and 10, it talks about, you know, making us, and then it's another instance, uh, Micah 1 and 7, I believe, talks about making yourself white, you know, meaning making yourself pure. That's what that means. That's one of the reasons why they named themselves as white, right? Because you look in history, there were no so-called white people. There just weren't them, all right? And they've set themselves up to be, yeah, the, the messengers of light. Angel means messenger. They've set themselves to be those people, all right? All the images. All of the 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 the, the, uh, the history. All right, that's why the scriptures talks about going into the uh, go back into the pedigree of thy fathers, go to the path of thy fathers, search you know the way of thy fathers. And that's one thing vocab did. That's why he did the whole thing on the history of one West, trying to you know give uh, trying to discredit it. He did the history on. Um, uh, uh, I think he also went into the history of the freedmen and all of that stuff. You know, basically, he's trying to look for every loophole, every reason why, you know, we can't be those people because he knows and he's seen so much evidence that, man, these people that I've been learning about, listening to since I was young, all right, that I've been taught about, these are all so-called dark-skinned men who are all, well, let's see what it says, of, of, of who, who they came from. Verse uh, 2 Corinthians 11, verse 22. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Right? Uh, there's Hebrew Israelite right there in the Bible. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Exactly. Exactly, right? And the word Madonna just means mother. Oh. Uh, 
it actually says black but beautiful if you read the text. Yeah, it does say that. But some of them made it uh, uh, different in the way they actually worded it, which is black and beautiful. Right, so they went now, off. I bit. discussed the most obvious way. Uh, these are just the facts that we know from speculation, what we can try to gather. And hey, call all your howl by shim, your howl shy by shim, kakadas. Hey, the truth is evident, man. The truth is evident what they did. And they did all of this during the Renaissance. Why do you think during the Renaissance, right, these people talk about the world and, you know, they talk about knowledge of the world and all this, you know, a lot of this stuff, this artwork stems back from. Why are there no dark images, you know, set up in royalty or rulership? Again, this is why they're afraid. You know, all these theologi these uh, theologists, Salakia, all of these people who've studied the Bible, studied literary works, see, now it's coming out. The spirit has it coming out in the latter days, just like it talks about, right? In the latter days, I will pour my spirit out on you. You know, talking about the Israelites. And then it also says, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, all right? So that, that, that sentiment is being carried, you know, all across the earth. That these these people, you know, this history has been lost. These people, you know, that that again, he studied, he's gone to all these classes, he's done all this research about, received all these wisdom from, you know, even here in the U.S., you got the Bible Belt, you got these Southern Edomites, right? They associate God with, with being white, you know. Then they associate, you know, them having uh, the possessions and the rulership that they have with, you know them being white and God favoring them and you know all this can can and they they have that can the Ethiopians change his skin you know they, they quote that when they're talking about so-called black people because they they associate all of that with so-called Edomite supremacy all right so call hello Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai the point is made hey the truth is here man and it's not going anywhere all right until the Lord comes back uh, you're not you're not going to disprove what's true a Bible boss, so the one.